Hi, my name is Abdali, and in this video, we'll be looking into how to test the Blinky example in the NRA5 SDK. In order to do that, you need to have a development kit. I will be using the NRA52840 development kit, and you should have the NRA5 SDK downloaded and unzipped. I will be using the version 16.0.0 but you can also use the 17.0.2 the procedure will be the same the next tool that you need to install is the NRF command line tools you should have this one installed for your OS and you need to download the latest version the next tool that you need to have is an IDE here I will be using the Sager Embed Studio it is free for use for the use with Nordic uh, products so if you will you, if you will be using it you can uh, and you don't have it downloaded and installed you can install it here. you can download it and install it here from this page okay so now in the NRA5 SDK folder, this is what I've uh, unzipped the version 16. Now in this folder, you can locate the examples folder, then peripheral, then blanky, and in the end blanky there are two types of folders one name hex this this one contains the the hex files the already pre-compiled hex files and the other folders are for the pc uh, names named are named uh, pca numbers those are those are related to the board that you will be using yeah. so as you can see here each development kit has its PCA number. For example, for me, uh, for me, for my developer kit, the NRA5840 uh, developer kit, its PCA number is PCA 156. Okay, so I'll be opening that folder. Then there are two other folders. The first one is blank, which means that this application will not be using a software device. The software device is the, is the BLE stack of the NRA5 SDK. The other folder is the MBR. This one is will be used with the, with the bootloader. Okay, so I will not be using a software device, no I bootloader, so the first one. In this folder, you will have many other folders. Those are related to the to the IDE that you will be using. So just a note. Here as you can see you have the RM5, RM5, RM4, RM5, those are for Kyle. 4 and 5. This is uh, this one the RMGCC. The other one, this is just the config the config is just a config file. Uh host is the configs. And this one, this is the for ER, and this the next one is the for Sager Embedded Studio. So as you can see, if you will be using the if you will be working with the NA5 SDK, you should uh, have one of those one of one one ID of those otherwise you're gonna need to uh, to set all the the files for uh, for that ID but if you have if you if you are using if you be using one of the with those UID IDs IDs you can just easily start from here okay so for for our case I'll be using the security best studio so this folder and in this folder, you can just click on this one, and should launch the second embed studio with with our project open, and also the main .c file open. Okay, so we have to uh, okay. Let's, let's first test this example. Okay, to test this example, you have uh, to plug in your developer kit. This is my plugged in. You can see it on a like that. To run this example in our development kit, 
you need to head over to the build menu here then hit build and run this option will build it and run it on your development board and here it is running I here locating the the main uh, the main function here it is you can see this is a loop and this is the for loop that that makes the the LEDs blinking here it is so let's make a small change to this loop let's make that uh, blinking a bit fast let's make it 200 and again build the run as you can notice this is a, also saves the files and here it is and here it is it is fast now let's make the the sequence the blinking sequence reverse so we should start with the the e will start should start with the LEDs number minus one because now the LEDs number is four but this function this BSP board LED invert function takes the LED index so it will start from and the LED index starts from zero so the uh, the fourth LEDs will have an index of three so start from three we should have a E minus minus here and we should go till the till the E as long as the E is equal is uh, greater than equal to zero so we have also the zero the the, the LEDs with the index zero covered okay let's make it let's build down the run and there it is I think that's it for this example and we'll be doing some, some uh, other videos for, that, for the other examples. Thanks for watching.